All right, this is licensed to him. Yes, yeah, good. Well, thank you. All right, when it starts up, uh, the emergency reset is start or is activated, so you have to reset the machine. You just hit reset. Do you have the wipers on? Yep. There is a separate switch. You can turn this separate drive. Has anybody used Mach 3 before? Should we talk about that, too? Uh, never used it. Okay. Mach 3 is the program that actually runs the G-code files and sends them and controls the movement of the steppers, which moves to the CNC bits around. In the standard screen, you got the right arrow keys, which move right, left, down, or back and forth. And then page up and page down moves the Z axis. When you're jogging around, make sure you have it up high enough that you don't run into something. You know that from experience. Remember, in our original file, our origin was in the lower left corner by a couple inches. And so I'm just going to start right about there. Looks like we're about on top of it. And this is where I would have a piece of paper under here and see if I can slide it in and out. And then I would know we're pretty much on top. So now I reset my X, Y, and Z. So now that's set for our zero point. And you, can always, you can move around and go anywhere you want. And you just hit go to zero. And it's going to come right back to that spot. So before you hit go to zero, make sure it's up high enough that you move the X and Y first. Yep. Yep, that's a good. You'd be. Uh, Probably so many bits have broken over the years. Now, there's two main G code formats. Some are called TAP, T A P, and other machines use N C. They're pretty much interchangeable. Some use N G C also. Okay, I've never come across that one. But yeah, it does recognize them all. You just a matter of switching what you want to load. Okay. So it loaded up our G code file here. And again, we can see it line by line, what's going on. And it kind of has a graphic representation of it here. Here's our origin. It's going to move over to here and start cutting. You have some G-code controls over here. You can edit your G-code. The most important one, that you, if everything goes smoothly, is you need to rewind if you want to cut another part. You've got to come back to the beginning and then start the process. So we should be good to go. I like to raise it up a little bit before I turn the router on, just so it doesn't spin in by the surface. And again, um, right now everything's manually controlled. There's a speed dial on the router and the power switch. <laughs>
it did is it came down to the, the safe height that we programmed in, which is by default was an eighth of an inch, and then it moved over to the start point. That's where you got to be careful with that, where you have your fixtures, clamps, things like that. Yeah, we did cut through. There it is. Do you know what that's used for? Yep. It's a clear plexiglass cover that goes over um, a control panel for um, construction comp compactors. They walk behind them and it compacts. Oh, okay. Yeah. You make these for a company. Um, now, th this little cutout here might have been because we didn't have any tabs and it did it at the end. There's also some of the things you'll see because we don't, I didn't turn on lead ins and lead out, is where the router bit plunge. Where if we turn on a lead in, it would plunge over here and then sneak up and cut it. But this is pretty drastic, so it was probably where it broke free at the end. That's it.